morning people <laughs> here we are again after a long time uh, since my last vlog was about a year ago I think yeah it was a very intense and year with a lot of big changes so at the moment I'm based in Dubai that's why this sunny weather so this is the winter of Dubai after a long time without vlogging I can say it's pretty much difficult to remember all the things we want to say and uh, to focus <laughs> so yeah we had that idea with uh, my friend Mike uh, as known as Voslo that he's on his way to pick me up to go and celebrate New Year's Eve in Liwa Desert so what's happening there is the Liwa Sports Festival and uh, I'll let you know more about this uh, in a few seconds Good morning dude Morning 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 Ready for Liwa? Oh yeah, 2020 <laughs> Okay, packed with the essentials and ready for the drive there. So Liwa is the desert with the biggest dunes on planet Earth. Is that right? So it's, it's visible, yeah. as you said, from uh, yeah. Earth space. Earth space. We've never been to space, but you can see pictures and see good maps. Lefty, away from the ocean and all the way up, and you can even see on the maps the scale of the sand. That's where we're going to. As they say, Liwa Sports Festival is described as the Burning Man of Petroheads. A hint for the location is some scenes from a Star Wars movie uh, filmed there. Some of the people that are familiar with in the, in the States, in America, there's a place called Glamis Dunes. And it's packed with all kinds of automotive cars and buggies and bikes and quads. It's awesome. Liwa is the Middle East version of Glamis. And what's happened from my experience, 2010 to now the present, they've improved it a lot. Uh, the roads, you can drive there now. They have made facilities now that you can actually book out places, little dorms or little tents to camp in Morib itself. It's getting bigger every year. Um, is it an experience to maybe take over for one night? Definitely. To anyone that is living in the Middle East, um, if you haven't been to Liwa and you haven't been to the festival, you're crazy not to do it. You really do need to say that you've ticked that off while being here. Anyone that is visiting as a holiday and you can time it right to, even if it's in the summer and it's not in the festival, come see it anyway because man, the minute you get over that first road on the horizon, seeing the desert, it's spectacular. Like, it's such a feeling to see it. A few more things before we wrap up. We're going in uh, Morib, June as they call it in English, but Morib in Arabic means terrifying. So it's the terrifying dune. Because the dune is so steep, a couple years ago I used to work at a company where we would uh, test buggies, uh, obviously to bring in the market. If if you're going to bring a new product in and you want it to and you want it to sell, if if your product can go up that dune with ease, you one that's a great accomplishment. Two, how fast did it go up there? And three, how many times can it do it until maybe it breaks? Let's say, apart from just going up the dune, if it can handle driving through Leeward Desert and you've had no breakdowns, and let's say a local has driven it and he hasn't broken it, then you know you've got a product in the market that is going to sell because that's what it's all about. And a lot of car companies go there not just to drive in the desert, but to drive within the area, especially in, especially in the summer because it's super, super hot there. A lot of testing gets done there. So we're going to see a lot of cars uh, tonight really getting put, put to the test with ridiculous horsepower as well. Um, I cannot wait, man. I can't wait to see this. Well, let's see, let's see. No more talking, guys. <laughs> taking place Welcome to Welcome, Liva. These all people, you happy, me happy. <laughs> Origin 
know this turbo this may be the 700 uh, 700s horsepower america this is too much this is the famous uh, sand rails for the locals here it's called the funkos they were if i'm right they were made in australia and, and they're originally and then they've mass produced in america and i think they're built here now Be 300 units, right? Yes, 300 units. 300 units. So, uh, yeah, what about the price? This is cost 265, 265,000, and this is starts from 300,000. Mike, choice. that's your choice. You could either buy a Raptor, yeah, the new one, or you can buy this. Which one would you go for? by Adnok here in their stand and we're gonna thank them for their hospitality. It's amazing the stand and everything they're doing here. My name is Mohammed Al Muherbi. I'm working in Adnok. Uh, we welcome the guys here in uh, our uh, area in uh, Tel Mirab. They're most welcome. Hayakum Mirab. And you can see the arrangement here uh, with the Arabic uh, tent and the Arabic coffee and with some, uh, some activities and inside. Good time here? Good time. This is some Arabic pancake? Yes. Shokran. With uh, date honey. Yeah, it's Dafra region here that uh, gives uh, to people that live 
here are the gas, the oil and the dates. <laughs> I think uh, the hospital is another level have here. Have this, have this one, have this one. <laughs> this is nice. fucking Mendel. Yeah, there's a whole 
better than going now. We're good.
people! Woo -hoo -hoo! 2020! I wish you all the best. Be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, have experiences in your lives. Have experiences. Life is short. Happy New Year to all of you. Yeah, Happy New Year! <laughs> it's video, video. So it's gonna be a rapid thing? Yeah. Chai, chai. What's that? El, cordamol, cordamol. From Saudi Arabia. Okay. I know. Juice. Wait for everyone. That's good with this view. Spotlight of Mike always on top of me like a UFO. Yeah, oh, it's coming. The hand <laughs> of it. Here's our spot, tents are set. As you see, Mike has a palace, and I have a small humble house here. But anyway, both of them are sponsored by Mike, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> you can still hear the rev limiters all over the place. There, these guys will keep it going until early morning and see. That's a good morning. And still you can hear the sound of the cars and the giants. They're still going, they're still there.
sorry guys, haters gonna hate, but this is our first burger session of the year and the weather is fucking amazing. You guys hear that? Wait, wait, come closer. <laughs> we are wrapping up our uh, experience of the Liwa Festival. In a nutshell, it's been super rad, super awesome. Got to meet up with some locals from the minute we got here till 2.30 in the morning on top of a dune overlooking Morib. Always been invited for fresh coffee and tea, great conversations, the hospitality has been amazing and this is such a Middle East thing. It was rad and unfortunately we have to end it but it's been real, it's been rad. Thank, thank you dude. Thank you for everything man. Yeah, I really, and really did like it. made it all the way there. Yeah, we thought through the car the, wasn't going to make it at all. All the trials and tests. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we're on our way back to Dubai now but thank you for joining us on this journey. I cannot wait. We cannot Until wait. the next time with the best memory and the nice sticker back there on the left. Yeah. Leave 2020. So the next one guys, see you then. You!